I am delivering my lecture on the OOPS concept. First of all, I will tell you what is object oriented programming. If we solve a problem in terms of classes and object, it is called object oriented programming. There are four attributes in object oriented programming class. Class is a collection of entities. Or we can say that class provides definition for an object. And object is an instance of the class and actually memory will be allocated to the object. Properties, characteristics or attributes of an object using which we can differentiate one object to another. It is called properties, methods, operation that can be performed over an object. For example, like int a equal 10, comma b equal 20. It is uh, variables, but we, uh, like example, int is a data type, we can say, we can say that it is a class. A and B, there are two objects and 10 and 20, these properties and operation like a plus, minus, subtraction, these operation can be performed over these objects. Now, basically, mainly its concept are of four types. First, abstraction. When a class is given to the user, he is familiar only abstract view of the class. Internal details and implementation are hidden from the rest of the user. So classes are of mainly two types, designer class and user class. Designer class that designed by the developer and user class that can use the user for using that developing class. Uh, encapsulation, the process of binding function and variable together within class body. It is called encapsulation. It is used for data hiding. And next, inheritance. Inheritance is the process of creating new classes from already existing classes. Inheritance, uh, already existing class can add its own additional functionality, plus it can add the existing classes properties. Inheritance are of five types, single level inheritance, multi-level inheritance, hierarchical inheritance, hybrid inheritance, single level inheritance. If one class is derived from another class, it is called single level inheritance. Like that, it is a class A and derived class B. It is called single level inheritance. Multi level inheritance, if one class is derived from another class and further class is derived from this derived class, it is called multi level inheritance. Next, multiple inheritance. Multiple inheritance, if one class is derived from two or more base class, it is called multiple inheritance. Multiple inheritance are not allowed in Java, it is a compile time error. So we can use multiple inheritance in other languages like C++, uh, Visual Basic, etc. We can use the multiple inheritance of interfaces in Java. Next inheritance hybrid, combination of any two inheritance. Com combination of any two inheritance are known as hybrid inheritance. Next concept, polymorphism. Polymorphism many morphism means forms. Many forms. If same message is passed to different object, each object responds differently depending upon its class, it is called polymorphism. Polymorphism are of two types, compile time polymorphism and runtime polymorphism. Compile time polymorphism is example of a function overloading and operator overloading and runtime polymorphism. There are uh, three things, inheritance must be there, method overriding must be there and superclass variable refer to the direct or indirect subclass object. Then we can use the runtime polymorphism. It is example of runtime polymorphism. For runtime polymorphism, there are three things mainly. First, inheritance must be there. Second, method overriding must be there. And superclass variable can refer to the direct or indirect subclass object. We create a class animal that have a, a variable number of legs equal four, and there are two methods: speak and move. We provide the definition for speak and move. Any and next class we create a dog class and extend an animal class. In this class we provide the methods, uh, we overwrite the methods speak and move. And in next class uh, we can create a, another class, horse class that can also extend uh, these uh, class uh, animal and uh, can override the method speak and move. After that we class uh, main class, jungle class and we have a main function and after that we create a reference variable of the super class like animal obj. It is only reference variable, there are memory will be not allocated to the OBJ. After that, we assign the memory OBJ new dog. Dog is a subclass of the animal class and we assign the reference of the dog class to the OBJ. And after that, we call the speak and move function of the class. Now, it, it, the, in this, these functions are called speak and move of the dog class. And after that, and next, we assign the uh, reference variable to horse class and we call the speak and move function. So we can say that uh, inheritance in polymorphism there are 
वन टाइम पोलिमोरफिजन देर आर थ्री थिंग्स इनहेरिटेंस मस्ट भी देयर मेथड ऑफ राइडिंग मस्ट भी देयर एंड सुपर क्लास वेरिएबल कैन रेफर टू द डायरेक्ट और इनडायरेक्ट सब क्लास ऑब्जेक्ट रुक जाओ थैंक यू थैंक यू एंड थैंक यू फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो लेक्चर फॉर मोर इंफॉर्मेशन प्लीज विजिट ऑन डब्ल्यू 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 डॉट गुरु के पी ओ डॉट कॉम